Hello, greetings. Here's the chat chat portion, and I'm uh, working on the chat rooms. Chat room two, I'm going to change possibly tomorrow or during the weekend. So it's a lot similar to the new one that's been placed. So the new one seems to work out pretty good. So, um, so chat two will be re enhanced. One of them had to go away altogether, couldn't get it to work. So, um, chat three, I think I'm just going to leave it the way it is. So, anyway, just trying these things. So, all right, much well, blessings, and uh, here we go. Greetings to you all. This is the Prime Creator. Much love. Love and light to you. Whenever you are ready, I'd be happy to connect. Yes, thank you very much. Yes. Okay, uh, first question is from Sierra. Mm. Okay, uh, from Stacy. Our first question, what messages do my guides have for me at this time? Patience. Also, they do say a, a female is going to be connecting to you, a stranger, but one that you will be assisting. As for the time of when this will happen is up in the air. But it does say that it is in your contract to assist this one, yes, much younger than you. Is it a child? Possibly. You will find out. Blessings. Okay, our second question. What have I been up to in astral? Interesting. Connecting to Archangel Michael's vibration recently, learning from his ways. It does seem like you're changing your vibration and learning how he had done it in his incarnations. So you are, he's mentoring you at this time. Because it does seem like you're changing your vibration on this earth plane. Ever so slightly, but it is changing, as always. But as I say, change is in the air, but you will see the signs of you evolving. And it pause up my course. Okay, and next is Vasco. Hi, peace and blessings. Any messages for me? Yes, assess your vibration. Music is good. I believe you listen to music, but listen to the right music. I believe you will feel your angels and your aliens around you as certain vibrations you listen to. As they are tuning their frequency to you as you your frequency changes and so does theirs. And you are communicating through energy. Blessings. Okay. And second question for Vasco. Question about sugar. Shungite, does this mineral really have these unique positive benefits? Much love. Oh, all minerals do. Yes, it does help your psychic abilities, but it does help you open up ever so slightly. What are you ready to open up to is the thing. So it helps you every 
gem, every type of mineral on this planet that assists your waking up process to your guides, to your direction, to your timelines that you wish to connect. Actually, many stones are actually assisting your timeline ascension process. Different stones have, stones have different vibrational frequencies that can help you. So when you buy one or one that feels you need to own, it's because you're changing your frequency, changing your direction also. Blessings. Okay, next is Denise, 1111. What percentage of my brain is spiritually awakened? Mm. One moment. Four percent, but as much understand your spiritual awakening process is actually a lot higher. As a percentage, does that truly matter though? But as for your understanding, you have much to learn in this environment, so you have to be at that frequency. But your spiritual environment, as for your spiritual essence, is a lot stronger. So your human body here is at the frequency it needs to be. It is for you to function well in this environment. Okay, and second question is, what any past life connections or soul connections with my female orange tabby cat named April who was on the other side? Moment. Yes, there are female friends in other lifetimes where you were redheaded, actually, both of you. Around your middle age time period, mostly around that time period, even the dark ages, you've had a lot of times. But during those lifetimes, Yes, a sister relationship, much needed. And this one is not true. She chose to reincarnate, but only as a feline, as you can tell. Blessings. Okay, and next is 11, 111 Maggie. Hello and blessings to everyone. What lessons from a past life do I still need to learn in this one to move to the next plane? Mm. Oh, I want to know the secrets of your life, it seems. Basically, it's for you to discover. Patience is usually the strongest one. Ah, yours seems to be getting along with others. It still needs to be learned, especially those that are difficult to deal with. It does seem like you are, the vibration you're connected to is to assist others in their ascension process, not just yourself. So it does seem like you're going to be connected to others to awaken to your point of view. Of course, that's not everything, but for you to go into the next level is up to you. And much of that is closed off. I don't even see it. It's none of my business. It is only yours. Blessings. Okay. And her second question, their second question is, how many past lives have I had in my total existence? Thank you so much. In your total existence, it's usually millions. So I'll leave you with that. Blessings. But your human lifetimes, I believe, is around the number 14. At least that's what I'm being told at this time. On this world. Blessings. Okay. And next is Daniel Spencer. Hello. I was wondering if I had have had other lives with my cats. Yes, mostly males. And they've had Palladian lifetimes. In this incarnation, they're assisting you just as ever so slightly. You ask them to come with you. It's like, we're not going to come. But we'll come as felines. That's fine. At least our vibration will connect to the feline. So there's also a female feline that you are connected to. The 20 years. One moment. That one's been very stubborn. Another lot of times. A lot of stubbornness there. That's all I'm seeing as for the stubbornness, as for when mm, she's not going into details, just kind of keeping that quiet right now. But yes, yeah, she's definitely had female a lot of times, but always stubborn. Man, so much stubbornness there. Very kind, but very stubborn at times. Blessings. Okay. And second question for Daniel is I was wondering. I was also wondering what star system my youngest son, Jay, is closest with. Thank you. Much love. Uh, the Arcturians. That's the strongest connection he has right now. Sometimes his mind might feel like he's driving himself crazy. Of course, he's very young, but still, 
mind I see is very analytical from my point of view. Blessings. Okay. And next is Crystal Leaf Snow. Are there yeah. any messages from my guides? Yes, be patient. Much is much is on the change. You're going into a new route. One moment. I see cleaning, but that is not what you're doing. Uh, it does seem like you're cleaning for, well, cleaning, but not in the third dimensional type of cleaning. It does seem like you are changing your direction spiritually. One moment. You are assisting many, assisting many that are very stubborn on this world. And as you see, there's many of, the, of that vibration here. Many are not ready to fully connect with you. It seems to be assisting those, at least in your environment. It seems like you're upping your game. But you have not met these ones that you're connecting. Yeah, you will connect to. It does seem like it's on their way, though. To new people and new points of view to them. Blessings. Okay. And second question, are there any messages from the hybrid children? Yes, you connect to them daily and astral. They are around you as you sleep, actually protecting you as to let you come back into your body. They are, they are warning from your experiences here what you are allowing them to to view. Also, it seems like you're around a lot of water also. There's a lot of underwater activities and swimming, but a lot of under... You're taking them to your other past lives and showing them around. I believe it's like a holographic point of view you're giving them, though. And they're very much enjoying it. Blessings. Okay. And next is Thomas Peterson. I feel a pressure around my heart and solar plexus. Is this things releasing or blocking? Well, you're releasing blockages. A lot of that's from the reptilians. Reptilian wars from the Lyrans. There's also a spider species that you've been dealing with that has been not very friendly to you in other lifetimes. The insectoids, you've had wars with them also. Many come in this world just to release, and it seems like that is one of your reasons for being here. Blessings. Okay, and second question. I had a strange dream tonight or this morning where I dreamt about a Zeta steering a starship and it came up, orders, commandos in its head while steering the UFO. I don't remember much. Any healing from my heart, solar plexus, chakra issues? Well, yes, it seems like you went to them for a healing point of view. I believe they helped you with your chakra systems. Only allowed there's so much to help you with. But they you put they put you back into this reality. It could have actually taken you. They wanted to take you somewhere else, but they weren't allowed to. Because you're a contract with this earth. They don't even understand the full reason why you're here. You just sort of like you can say, ask them for their assistance, they showed up, and they don't even know who you are. Well, they do now, now know, but it's just like you're a hijacker, uh, not a hijacker, a hitchhiker. And you just flag them down for assistance. That's why it's kind of in and out. You know, it's not very clear. But they did help as much as they were allowed to, though. Uh, we'll see how that goes tomorrow, though. As for the information they're allowing to come through. Blessings. Okay. Next is Donna Riggs. What were the first beings created by the creator, and why were they chosen? Perfect question for you know who. Who was the first creator of well in this universe much of it actually was insectoid, but understand many beings came here from other places. The worlds around Orion were the first ones created. But remember, I was not alone in this creation process. Many of you were there. Maybe on the angelic vibration, yes. Many were, were part of the creation, but just not all prime creator, and that's all. It was much of your vibrations involved. And of course, some of it I messed up myself, and that's why you have a world like this, of complexities of maybe overdoing it to a certain degree, but no one is perfect. Everyone wanted to experience my point of view in my world, so this is one of them. Yes, this is one of the bad boys in this universe. There are several others. You're just getting used to this one. Many of you have been to the other ones. 
This one's not as bad as the other ones, though. Blessings. Interesting. Okay, next question for Donna. Any messages from my higher self or someone that has crossed over? Blessings. Actually, the message is from Archangel Michael. One moment, because you've known him. Ah, lovers and other lifetimes understand the angels are on everybody. Everyone has had some sort of fling with them. Either way. Um, one moment. He's assisting you, as you know, as this vibration this isn't exactly what you were was cracked up to be. At first, it felt great coming into this earth. And then after a while, it's like you feel like you're getting beaten up for things you didn't even do. It's like this isn't your fault. Like you're getting blamed for things that you didn't, you know, it's just like you're being accused of everything in some regard. It seems like that. Because some of the beings that are here are children that you are connected to. And other than that, they're not all thinking clearly here. So that is another reason why this vibration, this earth incarnation hasn't exactly been the best. Because they are being tampered with by other beings. And it's unlikely they'll awake. Understand the beings around them wanted to keep them away from you. Because understand, you're very open. The beings around you did not want that to happen. They didn't want them to be open at all. So they put the fear of God into them, basically. And it happens a lot. Many of you are awakened. I believe some of you have some in your family that are afraid of all this type of vibration. It's done on purpose, so blessings. Okay. And next to Stephen Davies, I was sent a message in what looked like a newspaper. My mind chatter cut it out. What was the message? Message from your guides. One moment. You're connecting to many plane councils at this time. Healing, I believe, feline realities of humanoid. You go there, you assist what you can, and then you leave. It's like, I can't be here. This is your world. I can only bring in my input and leave. And sometimes they're kind of, they pull you back as they stay, don't leave. You know, they're just, this happens to you in astral a lot. Because your contract here, but they're trying to take you somewhere else. You're like a counselor. I believe you can feel some of that. You're just a counselor of new ideas. Many of you here are part of that vibration also. You put your input, you give your input, and then you, but I believe sometimes you might feel maybe some pullback from other beings. That's not, they're hiding it well, but which is good. You don't want to feel like, like, why am I on this road? I feel like I need to be somewhere else. And that's not a feeling you really want in this one. Not when you have a mission here right now. Lessons. Okay. And as for any other messages from anyone else? Yes, I mean, connecting to Mother Mary also for healing. She's been helping you in astral as you re-enter your body here. She's been clearing your vibration so you enter back well. You have a lot of drama going around you at this time. But your aliens, even your angels, mostly your alien vibrations because your assistance is much asked for. So your, the Mother Mary is there to clear all that out so you can come back here peacefully for the most part. We believe, I know this, this is not as soon as you'd like it, but this feel like in the next few years, more of this will become more clear. I know it's like, some, I want to know now, but yeah, sometimes it's best not to know now. There's also, yes, there's a duck species around you. There's many different types that, a duck, the duck species are becoming a little bit more, they're making themselves more known. They have their reasons. Now they feel like, why the reptilians have all the attention? <laughs> Lessons. Okay. And next is Angie S. A few days ago, I saw a strange metallic object flying, then stopped and changed directions. I ran outside quickly, but it disappeared. What was this? Was this a kite or a ship or something else? It was a feline ship of the Lyrans. One moment. It seemed like they were working with, yes, the Arcturians, and they were called. Mother, much had to do with the Earth's vibration, meaning weather purposes. But not just that human consciousness vibration. They go and 
heal much of the consciousness. Sometimes it gets, you're not aware of it, but they are. Sometimes it gets kind of cloudy in their, their, their dimension. They have to clear a lot of that out because they're feeling the negativity from people. Sometimes it gets kind of out of hand. So they can do like a sweep of happiness, you can say. So much your aliens are much involved. They bring the happy power with them, you can say. Happy power. That's awesome. Yeah, I don't need more right. of that. Something around, yes. Something <laughs> around that. Yeah. Okay. Our second question is Am I going through a Kundalini awakening? Yes. Yes. It seems like you're connecting more with your angels, your guys, of course. Your angels, I believe your angel connections should be strengthening. Quite soon, your Kundalini is, yes, activating is fully alive. That's why you're seeing ships. Uh, you're seeing them for a purpose. They know you see them. So you are also assisting them when you see them. That goes for everybody. So you're seeing them, but you're also sending out love and assistance, whatever it might be. Blessings. Okay. And next is Shaoma. Mm -hmm. I need some uplifting news. Is there any good news or interesting news for me to know? It does seem like your financial situation will improve. You might not see that right now, but we do see it enhancing itself very soon, shortly. Even if you might not, see, yes, we do see that, and we do see it going for some time. There is worry around you, but don't put too much worry in your worry, but it's also a test. It's a test that you asked for, I believe you're already aware of that, to enhance yourself, you're enhancing your you're strengthening yourself, basically. It might not seem like that, but you are. And also, you're forcing yourself to go into another direction. Blessings. Okay, for second question, do you have any messages for her? There's actually many reptilians around you assisting you in a positive way. They're, they're part of your change, your transformation, strength. There's also, one moment. There's Arturian being, He calls himself Middle E. Uh, he's much into music, but he's also there to assist. He has a, a large head, kind of a smaller chin. It gets kind of small down there, but either way, the head goes up like this, kind of like a cone head, not exactly, not like a cone head, not at all. But either way, this one is assisting your vibrational and shift and also to help you with the worry that's been overwhelming your mind. Also, it, many of your guides have to be quiet for a reason, is because you're still figuring out your own vibration of what you want to, you're not fully connected to them, as you can tell. And you're, in this lifetime, it has to do about building a relationship with them. And you're learning, you're learning to trust them, and it's not been exactly going well over there. So you're wearing trust, basically. That's main, one of your main, this is why your life is going here and there and all over the place sometimes. You're wearing to trust your guys and yourself. Blessings. Okay, Frank Creator, that is it for tonight. Thank you very oh, much. Great. Blessings all. Positive messages to you all. Yes, get naked. It is the weekend, so good night all. Blessings.